the market today. How's your knife holding up? Pretty good. Don't my, cut yourself. My dad cut his hand trying to do <laughs> What's going on over here today? Hey Any cantaloupes? No, not ready yet. No. Oh, I got you. Salt me, people. How we doing? Make sure you get him on camera. Did he want it? Yeah, I am. He wants it. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, lopes. I got orders to bring lopes home today. <laughs> Damn, you got a gathering of stuff here today. I even do. How was the market th Thursday over there? I didn't get over there. It was, it was really slow. Yeah? It was, it was really slow. I had a lady call me up with 14. Ice cream man setting up. Pizza man setting up. Let's go see what the fish man's got over here. Fish man's got something that looks easy on the eyes. A new addition. I'm Russ, what's up, buddy? I don't know, man. How you doing, man? No shrimpies. How you doing? Hey, how are just you? a couple minutes behind trying to get him set up, man. We're going to be there. I got you. Hey, scallops. Good morning, how are you? Good morning. Ocean scallops. Yeah. Everything's well. A little behind, but we're good. They're right. good, don't they? They are good. Mm -hmm. One of the best things in the sea. Yes. The best of it. Each pie. Hmm. Don't leave home without them. Mm. Goat cheese with chives. I got a chop and garlic right there. One or two. You got some of them? Yeah, I got about a couple. I mean, it's, uh, I'll find out how many she wants. I know I'm supposed to bring two. This is one of four. Here's the fourth one of four. I may have already showed you this, but I don't remember. One was an eight inch slicer, Wustoff. One was a pair of poultry scissors. And then this lady brought me two. One's a Cutco. The other one's a Chicago Cutlery. And then, this lady brought me a whole bucket of knives. Look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven knives in this one. She said this, she got this knife from her grandmother. <laughs> and her grandmother got it from her grandmother. It's a pearl ivory handle. It's an old, old knife. I gotta take it home and clean it up for it and sharpen it. It is cooking pretty good. Doesn't look like it, but it's really busy. Or has been. Check this out. Just lay rolled up with this canvas sack. Damn, what's in that, I wonder? She got all our knives in there. There's five, I think they're uh, heckles. Doesn't say heckles, but I know they're heckles. Got a whole gathering of them in there. Yep, you can see the heckle, so that heckle right there. No, that's not a heckle, that's a Hampton Forge. I don't know what the other one is. Let's see what this next one is here. Let's get this one out. This is a big one. The same thing, Hampton Forge. High carbon steel Bergdorf, USA. Hmm, cool. Homework. I don't have to bring him back the next week. I mean tomorrow, I should say. He lives nearby. Chisel ground. Kalamazoo. Just in this nice little block. 
Du det gik der. Well, I'm home with the knives. These are the ones I was telling you about Hampton Forge. She got three of those. And this one is an old saboteur. Carbon steel knife. And this one is, uh, it looks like the same knife. A smaller version, but it looks to be stainless. Maybe it's just that she uses it every day, and the other one had been used in a decade. You can see they're, they're sisters made exactly alike. Maybe this one will clean up. I don't know, but it looks like carbon steel to me. Or, like I said, this one maybe here, she uses it for everything. I think you saw everything else. This doodad thing. I showed you that. This is all homework stuff. This is a remainder of that basket full of knives. And the little old butter, old English knife or whatever you want to call it. Okay, got homework. While I was uh, coming home, I got a call from a lady who wanted me to sharpen some uh, shears for her. You know what I do with them? I just have them. I went by and picked them up. Stand by, let me find them. They're under this bag. It looked like somebody had been cutting wire with them. He said, I've had these for over 40 years. I don't know if you can see through there or not, but look at the gaps in it. <laughs> these are nice, he said. Well, it looks like somebody's been cutting something in them. They're in bad shape. And they got the flat part. You know, the flat, this is supposed to be flat. Aluminum. Just to cut the bushes with. They got gouges all in them. Unbelievable. I think I can get them in pretty good shape, though. Okay. That's it for the knife gig. It was a good day at a knife gig. Bad day in the land of Nala, but a nice knife gig. Nala was uh, really bad to us today. Or to me especially. Stand by.